Chinese spy balloons are everywhere. It turns out there's a lot more of them than you ever imagined. Welcome to John Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. This episode is sponsored by PC Doctor Drive Erase. Erasing hard drives shouldn't be difficult, and neither should pricing, licensing, and use. Securely and easily erase all kinds of drives with PC Doctor Drive Erase, all starting under $60. So earlier this month, the U.S. military shot down a Chinese balloon off the coast of South Carolina after it crossed the entire North American continent. It's still baffling that it was able to make it all the way across the continent before being shot down. If Aladdin took place now, he would have told Jasmine, I can show you the world. Except America, no way we'd cross their skies alive. The U.S. recovered the wreckage of the Chinese balloon from the Atlantic Ocean, including electronic sensors, which the U.S. says was used for spying. In retaliation, the U.S. added six Chinese companies tied to China's spy balloon program to the entity list. That means U.S. companies can't sell parts or technology to them without a special license. By any chance, does that special license look like this? Yep, everything seems to be in order here. You're clear to keep doing business. Which sounds like a joke, but that's actually how it often ends up. In response to the U.S. response, China threatened to take measures against American entities. And China claimed the U.S. flew balloons over its airspace more than 10 times, though they didn't provide evidence. And the U.S. has denied flying any balloons over China. Funny how it's only just now that China is making a big deal of U.S. balloons. Other countries, including Japan and Taiwan, are taking a tougher stance against Chinese balloons now too, especially since they're no stranger to those balloons. At this point, if you see a balloon anywhere, it's safe to assume it came from China. Going to a surprise party? The surprise is that China is watching you. Guess that makes it a Chinese communist party. China, of course, tries to tell other countries to stop following the US by making a fuss over spy balloons. However, and this will not surprise you, there's evidence that the Chinese Communist Party has dedicated enormous resources to manufacturing spy balloons over the years. The banner says something like, learn the essence of flight, build a loyal police spirit. Looks like a fun party. China has entire bases dedicated to balloons in Xinjiang, Hainan, Inner Mongolia, and more. Check out all these giant balloon hangers. According to one 2018 job advertisement, balloon work also happens in Beijing, Shandong, Tibet, and Qinghai. Leave it to the Chinese Communist Party to make a balloon factory go from whimsical to terrifying. What are they going to ruin next? Cotton candy? Balloons can be cheaper alternatives to other surveillance tools like satellites and drones, especially in near space, which is the area 12 to 60 miles above the Earth's surface. According to the PLA Daily, the official newspaper for the People's Liberation Army, near space has become a new battlefield in modern warfare and an important part of the national security system. Balloons can help with near space dominance, which is why China's surveillance balloons have grown to be global in scope. Even Hillary Clinton thinks they have too many balloons, and she freaking loves balloons. But Chinese balloons aren't just going abroad. They've been used to spy on China's own people for years. You might be thinking that's overkill, especially when China already has internet monitoring, cameras, apps, drones, and a bunch more tools. But we're dealing with a Marxist-Leninist party that's paranoid about losing power. Of course they do that. It's definitely not a surprise. More after the break. Welcome back. A network of Chinese companies are working with the military to develop global Chinese surveillance balloons. And the scope of those balloons includes mainland China. China's interests in balloons, also known as airships or aerostats, date back to Mao Zedong's rule in the 1970s, and its modern airships go back to at least the 2000s. Leading the charge is the Lighter Than Air Vehicle Center of the Academy of Optoelectronics. 
That's a balloon research center based in the Chinese Academy of Sciences under physicist and balloon enthusiast Pennywise. Sorry, not even. He's evil enough to work with the CCP. I meant Jiang Lu Hua. According to the center's website, there have been more than 200 balloon flight tests. The CCP has been using balloons against its own people for a long time. Which is a sentence I never thought I would say. Back in 2010, during the Shanghai World Expo, the Academy of Optoelectronics piloted a 57,000 cubic foot balloon security guard. It did that in cooperation with a bunch of other Chinese entities, including the China Electronics Technology Group Corporation, the same corporation that, along with its 48th Research Institute, is now sanctioned by the U.S. According to the Academy of Optoelectronics, the airship's monitoring system included HD and infrared cameras, a hyperspectral monitoring system, weather measuring tools, and more. The data was sent to a whole lot of departments, including local police stations and the Public Security Bureau. Then, during the 2014 Tulip Festival in Xinjiang, another balloon kept watch as the eyes in the sky, thanks again to the China Electronics Technology Group Corporation. You know, because of all the mischief that goes down at the Tulip Festival. When I think of dangerous political dissidents, I think of tulips. According to the State Administration of Science, Technology, and Industry for National Defense, for 24 hours a day with a 360-degree view, it can monitor the tourists on the ground, the cars, the buildings, even an object the size of a book will be seen by the eye in the sky. Yes, that's quite assuring to know that an authoritarian regime like the CCP has eyesight sharper than a hawk's. I never thought I'd say this, but I think I prefer to be watched by Big Brother than Big Balloon. There were even talks of using airships to provide security and telecast support during the 2008 Beijing Olympics, though there's no evidence to show that they were actually used. The Chinese Communist Party doesn't just use airships for monitoring major events, though. In 2017, Aviation Industry Corporation of China, or AVIC, launched a 72-foot balloon in Hubei province to conduct anti-terrorism patrols in high plateaus, which is very useful for conducting surveillance in mountainous regions like Tibet. Keep in mind that the main purpose for these balloons is less about fighting terrorism and more to do with what the CCP calls social stability maintenance. In other words, cracking down on dissent. If they're going to have giant balloons watching over people, they could at least make it something whimsical. Better behave yourself. You wouldn't want to upset your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. And these spy balloons are also a perfect example of China's military civil fusion programs. That's what they use to develop tech that can be used for both civilian and military purposes. And then the CCP pretends that it's not for military purposes at all even though the Balloon Research Center has done significant work for the Chinese military. And the CCP keeps organizing conferences about balloons and military-civil integration. Sounds like these are just harmless weather balloons to me. And as with nearly every advanced tech it has, China couldn't have made these airships without the help of Western companies. For example, in March 2015, AVIC, the same company in charge of the 2017 anti-terrorism ship, acquired Align Aerospace, a California-based company that provides supply chain services for the aerospace industries in North America, Europe, and Asia. This was approved by the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S., which just goes to show how short-sighted the U.S. was, although to be fair, I'm sure they had one of those special licenses. Since being acquired by AVIC, Align has formed partnerships with other firms operating in the defense technology sector in the United States. This includes Triumph Group, Inc., which has collaborated with leading U.S. defense contractors on platforms like Lockheed Martin's F-35 and F-16 and Northrop Grumman's Triton and Global Hawk drones. In 2015, the French company Flying Whales, which makes heavy lift airships, sent leaders to sign a strategic cooperation agreement with China's Special Vehicle Research Institute, or SVRI, which is under AVIC. Three years later, AVIC sent a team to France to learn about heavy lift aerostats. And sadly, none of those balloons from flying whales actually included any flying whales. 
It was around this time that the Texas-based company NanoRax signed a partnership agreement with another Chinese company called Kuangchu Science to produce near-space balloons. I feel like I'm constantly repeating myself when I say that Western companies need to stop giving China the tools it needs to spy on the world, boost its military, and suppress its own citizens. Perhaps it's time I get my own airship to make the message clear. Although I'm pretty sure America still won't get the hint since they'd shoot this out of the sky quicker than Aladdin and Jasmine. And this episode is sponsored by PC Doctor Drive Erase. There are a lot of reasons you might want to erase a hard drive when you recycle an old computer, before you send it in for a repair, or if you're concerned that someone might come looking for sensitive data, like the same people who launched giant spy balloons. Erasing drives should be easy. That's why PC Doctor Service Center Drive Erase provides an easy, guided path to erasing hard drives properly. It automatically removes a freeze lock and erases hidden HPA and DCO sectors, and it uses the most secure erasure methods available for the drive. After it's done, it verifies that everything got erased properly and gives you a PDF certificate that's also stored on the drive. Drive Erase supports MMC partition regions, NVMe namespaces, and multiple drives in parallel, and there's no limit to how many drives it can be used with. So if you're ready for an easy to use solution to clean out your hard drives, use PC Doctor Drive Erase. Plus, we have something special for China Censored viewers. Get 10% off PC Doctor Drive Erase using coupon DE10OFF. Use the link in the description below to learn more. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored.